Andy Brandon Stokely comes running up to me. You will never guess in your life what Peyton did. First thing that happened, Coach Knowles said, you don't know anything about defense. You're going to be a defensive back. I'm putting you in a room with Donnie Shell. Watch him do everything he does, and you're going to be fine. You're going to learn about the game. Well, I go in this room. I'm pulling my stuff out, unpacking, and Donnie Shell asked me, so uh, what's going on? What are you reading? I said, well, I'm reading the playbook, trying to figure out how to be a safety. He said, no, no, what are you reading? And he was talking about the Bible. And he said, hey, we've got this Bible study. You need to be there. You need to be at chapel. And every night I would see him reading his Bible. Every morning he's reading. He's looking at me. He's asking me things. So I start reading. I start going to the Bible study. And it's L.C. Greenwood, and Mel Blunt, and John Kolb, and Larry Brown, and, uh, you know, J.T. Thomas. And I'm thinking I'm coming to the big, bad Steelers. And, and they were big and bad. But these guys had a, uh, a sense of who they were, and it was, it was rooted in Christ. The first meeting we ever had, uh, Coach Knowles said, welcome to the National Football League. Uh, you're now getting paid to play football, but please don't make football your life. If you make football your whole life, you're going to leave the game disappointed. That was his first message to us, not about how we're going to win another Super Bowl, not how you're going to make the team, any of that. Don't make football your life. And now these guys were living that out, and they're telling me about – uh, relationship with Christ and why it's important. And yeah, we got to be the best that we can be because that's what God expects. Uh, but we're doing it for the right reason. And Donnie Shell changed my life. Uh, as a 21 year old, it, he got me from focusing on sports to focusing on being the, the man God wanted me to be. And that's why I had him introduce me at, at the Hall of Fame because he had the biggest impact on my life of anybody. I, I will tell you the, the one Debate we used to have, though, Jason, uh, I learned this in Pittsburgh. Chuck Noll had what we call Family Saturday. And Saturday was the day you brought your kids. Uh, they got to run around the locker room, be on the field. Coach Noll wanted the kids to know where their dads operated. So I did that at Tampa. All the guys that worked for me, Mike Tomlin, Lovey Smith, everybody did that. So I get to Indy now in 2002. Well, Saturdays for Peyton were always, he'd have this legal pad again of every play that didn't go right on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. and He'd want to run them one last time on Saturday. So his version or his idea of what Saturday practice was was a little different than mine. Being the coach, he kind of gave in to me. But like every six weeks or so, he'd come into my office and say, I, I know what you're doing with the family Saturday. I know you, you want the kids out here. Maybe they could just stay in the locker room. Then we can get our regular practice in, and then the guys could go back and see them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Family Saturdays won a lot of Super Bowl. This is the way we're going to do it. Yeah, but I wanted to run this play with Marvin, and he's got Marvin Jr., and he's not really running hard, and we can't get the timing down. Just relax. But we'd have this conversation once a month. So finally, we start oh. winning, and he kind of lets it go. Well, now, fast forward, I'm working for NBC years later. He's out in Denver. I go out to Denver to interview him for the show. And one of the guys who also played with us in Tampa, Brandon, or in Indy, Brandon Stokely, comes running up to me. You will never guess in your life what Peyton did. I said, what did he do? He went to Coach Fox. He said, we got to put in Family Saturday. The kids need to know where their dads hang out. Well, now he has twins by that time. So now it's a different story. But uh, I said, I did teach him one thing. I may not have taught him much about football, but uh, we did get that point across.